Hi, I'm Don Scardino. I'm the director of 30 Rock, and you're watching the Emmy Experience. 30 Rock is rocking the Emmys. The series broke an Emmy record for comedy with 17 nominations and only on its third season. I sat down to talk with Don Scardino, who is a director and producer of this hit sitcom. In a very short time, we've become a kind of cultural phenomenon. And so to be able to celebrate that and celebrate these people that make the show is great. And so whatever statues we take home is gravy, but I, I have dusted off a little place on my shelf for one. <laughs> What's it like producing and directing a show with that much critical acclaim? Does it affect you at all? You know, it's funny. We're a pretty relaxed bunch. Mm -hmm. uh, I did notice that this season we started up, there was a little bit of, oh boy. You know, we're, we're somewhere we didn't even expect to get, in a way. Uh, the underdog in the first season, and, um, and lo and behold, here we are with 17 nominations. So, yeah, there, there's more uh, pressure, I guess. Like checking your ego at the door, we try to keep the pressure outside the door. A bulk of the 30 Rock nominations I've noticed are from your guest appearances. What's it like working with these guest stars? There's a level of performing that's a little different. It's not as broad as sitcom, as, and it's not, um, it's not a drama, even though we're trying to make it very real and grounded in reality, but there is this absurd quality to things. Mm -hmm. And so the, the guest actors very quickly take their cues, kind of literally, from uh, Alec Baldwin and from Tina Fey and the level at which they're Look working. The charm and spark of a young Leon Helmsley. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the show is always the really great dynamic between Tina Fey and Alec Baldwin. What's that like? They are the odd couple. They are as, as polar opposites, or seemingly polar opposites. And so like an odd couple, they really need each other. And as the series has progressed, they've needed each other more and more. God. Didn't you just get a haircut two days ago? It is a, a great dynamic. Uh, to get tons of comedy, and they really scrape up against each other well, and that's what makes good comedy. But Lemon, there's nothing you could say to me that you can't say in front of Jonathan. I think my Middle Eastern neighbor is a terrorist, and I don't know what to do. That's ridiculous, Lemon. Some of our greatest patriots have been of Middle Eastern descent, and I'm appalled to hear you engage in racial profiling like that. Scardino's sense of humor is also what makes good comedy especially when it comes to working with the actors? Uh, it's a dream job. It's a, a dream come true. Yeah. Um, to have uh, these people... Uh, the, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm busy. Busy. oh the, uh, yeah, I'm talking to the television. Uh, Emerson. This is Emerson College here. Hi. Sue and... Uh, what's your name again? Jack. Jack. I forget. He. I think... Are you... We're both on the show. Oh, yeah, they're both on the show. Right, I forgot. Uh, we just have a quick question um, okay. about mm. some of these scenes coming. Now? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, like, a lot okay. of these, like, seem like pretty deep things, and this is a comedy. 30 Rock is short for 30 Rockefeller Center. That's where NBC is located, in the heart of Manhattan. But the show is shot here at Silver Cup Studios, right outside of the city. Silver Cup used to be a bakery, but now the only dough they make inside there is, well, the green kind. Oh, the magic of television. But you know, 30 Rock wouldn't have half its magic if it wasn't for its larger than life the characters. Korean animators. Yeah, you fix you like this. I'm, I'm sorry. Liz Lemon, do you know what it's like to be the only one who cares about your job when everybody else around is goofing off like a bunch of goof offs? Yes. Uh oh. Emotions. You having your woman time? Tracy Morgan will tell you he's nothing like Tracy Jordan. I always say that uh, that Tina Fey is listening at the keyhole of everybody's door here. I mean, uh, she tends to pull from life. Tina was at SNL for I don't know how many years. She was keeping her eyes and ears open, and uh, she knows this world very well. It's a world Scardino is very excited to celebrate on Emmy night. If you haven't been watching 30 Rock, tune in. It's really funny.